Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. It's the Ramble. I'm Alex in big red letters. And we're here until midnight tonight from the East Coast of the United States. And a big hello to all of you from our wonderful New York City. And uh, we're uh, coming to you for another week of uh, useless conversation. <laughs> Oh, boy. No, it's not useless. I guess it's not useless. But let me um, let me see here. How do I do this? Okay, I want to uh, uh, go to Phil Meyer, which who we will admit here in a second, and make sure that he is, uh, yes, he's there. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Meyer. Uh, quit calling us, folks. I don't want to. I don't want to have to see every time I, I somebody calls. It shows up in the upper part of the screen, because I found that the best way to show you, Phil, and to uh, stay in sync throughout the entire conversation, is to use an entirely different way of capturing the picture, which then includes if I if I bring bring my uh, um, uh, cursor in here. See, folks, you can see my cursor. So I. If you call, yeah. it gives the message that I'm getting a call. And well, anyway, hi, hey, Phil. Hey, how you doing? You know, it's Dr. Seuss's birthday, and today, and he was canceled. Uh, you know what? What, what are little kids going to do without Cat in the Hat and all of these other things? Not that I ever really read Dr. Seuss, but my parents bought a set of uh, of them, and I know they were in my room at some time. Yeah, well, yeah, they, they were a little upset by the racism inherent in in Dr. Seuss. What is the 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 cat uh, is is uh, is discriminating? I have no idea what it's all about. Maybe it was that whole thing about to think I saw a nigger on Mulberry Street. I think that maybe was the one that bothered them. But yeah. Pardon yeah. me for using that language, folks, but it was the only way to do the joke. But now, when was his books written? In the 20s? It was the 30s, 40s, 50s. You know, I mean, I just, I'm so sick of all of this, okay? I'm really sick of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that Dr. Seuss lived in another time, and maybe you can interpret some of what he did as racist. Listen, he had a Chinese character in one of his 1934 books yeah. that was painted yellow. And in years later, he then made him not yellow. Okay? So? Yeah. I mean, he was, you know, he was aware of the changing times, and he's not around to change it now. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm just so tired of. I'm sure you are too. I mean, it's probably the only thing you and I will ever agree on, is that this uh, I, whole cancel you know, culture, I'm, which I hate that term, and it's in and of itself, the cancer culture is uh, cancel culture. Excuse me, yeah, not, really, not well, cancer uh, culture. Now it's it's the uh, the heart culture. Uh, yeah. Luckily, you don't have that one. Uh, yeah. So Friday, I go in six mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning. I'm supposed to be there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be there on the table at six or check in at six. Uh, so well, why don't you call them spot. and find out so they don't start operating on somebody else by accident? Yeah. Well, no, they they check your toe tag. I see. <laughs> OK. Yeah. You know, they they put up they put the toe tag on first just in case. Yeah. And, uh, um. But the thing is, you're getting you're getting another what a stent or something? What is uh, it? I think so. Uh, you know, they they go in with this uh, thing they call they do an angioplasty, and I guess there's a balloon that stretches the artery, mm -hmm. and there's also a camera so they can see what's going on. Yeah, and uh, what they'll do is they'll see if a stent would be a viable option, and if it is, sometimes they can just stretch it, and and that's all they need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but at other times they put the stent in there and uh, just to see, you know, to, right. to make it right. Why. 
Well, you, 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 this isn't dangerous, is it? I mean, I, do I have to I worry about you? Uh, if you die, are you leaving me anything? You know, uh, I ha this is something that's been on my mind all week, mm -hmm. is a will. Do you have a will? Yeah, I have a will. I don't have a will. Girlfriend made me get one. Smart. You know, I, I don't have one. And now all of a sudden, I started thinking about, well, what am I going to do? What, you know, what, if, uh, if something happens to me, who's going to do what? Who's going to get what? You know what you can do? You can go online. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm that's what Marjorie do. did, and you can specify what you want in a will, and they will make out the will for it. It costs something like two hundred and fifty bucks, but they'll right. make the will for you and everything, and tell yeah, you how way, to file. You know, the, uh, wh whoever I leave things to, don't have to worry about probate and the, or and it go it going to the state or somebody else. Yeah, that. Well, uh, I would I would do it if I were you. Yeah, I'll, you know? I'll go on legal Zoom or something and. Uh, do it uh, in the morning. Yeah. yeah. But then, uh, you know, make sure you leave me something so I can wish you dead. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, there was this uh, old joke I heard about the reading of the will. Mm -hmm. And this guy, he's he's uh, he's at the reading of the will. Mm -hmm. And uh, the attorney says, you know, uh, you're included in the will. And. So this guy, Maury, he says, I didn't think anybody, you know, I, I, I didn't think I'd be mentioned. And so the guy reads Will, he says, hello, Maury. <laughs> you know, so that, that was his mention. <laughs> no money, but Maury. I hello. thought I'd be mentioned. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you know, there's, there's other stuff going on today besides Dr. Seuss. Texas, all masks are off. Yeah. Now, there I just, you know, that governor should literally be ripped out of his wheelchair and and thrown out of office. I didn't know he was in the wheelchair. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, there's there's a benefit to this. I You know, I noticed that Charlie posted that there was 28 million plus uh, cases mm -hmm. of COVID. Yeah. You know, if we keep up at this rate, we'll have herd immunity in a couple more months. You think about it. It's 330 million people. We already have 28. Yeah, let's but say, if, if people keep doing what that governor is doing, we're not going to reach herd immunity. Uh, not if they all get infected. If Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look, there's no question. To begin with, the numbers are going up again. Here in New York, they're going up again. Well, there's variants, I guess, that uh, are rearing their head. Yeah, but the point is that right now is no time for us to let up, okay? It's going down, but it's it's plateaued. So it's not really going down, Yeah, All right? I remember when they used to go down. No more. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, well, what's happening in New York and California and a few other places mm -hmm. is they're relaxing some of the restrictions because of the political pressure that the governors are feeling to open well, up the, the economy. The governors should not give in to political pressure in this deal. The fact well, is, the fact is that there are certain I I immutable things that you have to do in order to keep this from going any further. Yes, it's gone down. Whoop de doo. Are we suddenly going to become complacent? No, we want it to go down all the way. All right. Some people are saying that it was political these lockdowns. And not, no, no, uh, they weren't. not necessary. No, they weren't. When you look at states that didn't lock down, uh, uh, like Florida. Florida has had a lot of cases, Phil. They've had a the, lot of cases. I, you but know, they're no, uh, no, they're no worse. They're no, no, no worse off in cases than states that locked down. States that locked down. No, they're worse than New York. And New York locked down completely. Uh, I, yes. Know? Yes. Yes, he yeah. closed all the restaurants. He closed all the movie. He closed everything in the beginning. Okay, in the be and then but said, "We will part. open up. We will open up things as the science shows us we can open them up." But the fact is, to say that Florida hasn't had any cases, Phil. I didn't. See that. Phil, I didn't they see went. That. They went from almost next to nothing to twenty-five thousand cases. Okay, I'd say that's it's twenty-five thousand dead. I'd say yeah. that's pretty much a, a, a bad situation in Florida. And in Texas, Texas uh, is, is uh, 
uh, you know, they're, they're dying like flies in that state. And the guy's suddenly deciding, well, we're not, we're going to open everything up. The movie theaters, the restaurants. Oh, yeah, fine, fine. Uh, Good idea, pal. Well, they can open things up, but they don't have any electricity to, to you know, if you went into them, yeah, yeah, you, well, you can't you do know, anything. First, he fucks up on, on, on that, and then he fucks up on this. Listen, the fact is, if we're going to kill this thing, we've got to strangle it. Okay, and strangling it is wearing masks. It's, 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 I say, you know, I think New York's gone a little bit on the wrong side here because our governor is in such heat that he's trying to make everybody happy. Oh, I'm going to open the restaurants to 35%. Why? Well, because then maybe you won't notice that I just patted another woman on the ass. Now it's three that have come forward. Well, look, that, that thing's got me really mad because, and I'll we'll, we'll get into this with our citizen panel later, but I just, you know, to me, what did he do that was that wrong? I mean, maybe he wasn't being 100% a gentleman, but he didn't stick his finger anywhere, and he didn't stick his penis in anything, and he didn't molest these women. I mean, all the, and one of them who's complaining is running for office here in Manhattan, so she needs the publicity. I mean, come on. I'll, I'll tell you what it's, what it's about. Two things. One is hypocrisy. Because during the Kavanaugh hearings, mm -hmm. uh, you had Cuomo uh, saying that uh, you know Kavanaugh needed to be investigated and all of these mm -hmm. uh, all of these things, and they, and they basically hung Kavanaugh by his toes. But Kavanaugh was being accused literally of rape, right? Okay, n n none of these charges even get close to that with with uh, with uh, does, Cuomo. Does it matter the level of charges? Because oh, I can tell you the I second think thing Phil, is Phil Phil Phil, you're a cop. Is rape I, against the law? Yes. Is holding somebody's cheeks and saying, gee, you're pretty? Is I, that against in, the law? In a, in a work environment. Phil, it is. Phil, Phil, it wasn't in a work environment. It was in a social, it was in a social environment. Some of them were in work environments. No, uh, the, uh, so, some of them were, but it, not all of them. The point is, it, it, rape is, is a violation of another person's body. These well, things were women saying, I felt uncomfortable. Well, if you felt uncomfortable, why didn't you report it at the time? If you felt uncomfortable, why didn't you report it when you quit? Okay? If you felt it, it violated you, you should have reported it long before this. It's a couple of like, years. Like Blasey Ford. But I'll tell you the second point that I'm going to make about uh, our friend Cuomo is I have a 30-year-old daughter. Yeah. If he did to my daughter what he's being accused of doing to those other guys. What did he do? Well, he made them feel uncomfortable. And oh, I well, would have I'm sorry. And said something. I'm sorry. You just go, you know, that that is a, a question of, you know, if uh, my old and line he, was. He just one of them uh, without her permission. He started talking about suggestive things like banging an old man. No, no, you know, no. You, you see, you're taking it. You're making it sound worse than it was. He didn't say. Yes, it was. He didn't say banging an old man. Uh, what did he say then? He said, how do you feel about having a relationship with an older man? He said sex. He said sex with an older man. All right. Man. Sex with an older man. Okay, so what, does that go very far from banging? You got banging, let me, let you got me, sex. Let me, let, me, let me remind you of something. Yeah. Is, is, Mar is Andrew Cuomo married? Not anymore. No. And he, his wife probably he, had a good he, reason he, to get hold, rid of hold him. Hold on. He's single. All right? He's and ready to mingle. He's single. So when he goes to a social engagement or he just sees somebody... He may show a certain amount of intentions because he'd like to get to know them better. Can we put it that way? Right. Oh. Uh, but the thing is, in in a work environment, and he's the governor, he should be able to set a, a better uh, I, look, standard. Look, I agree with you that in this day and age, he said it should have been extra careful, but he wasn't. But he didn't, it wasn't, nothing he did in any way even came close to being uh, 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 an assault or uh, a even an encroachment on their bodies, right? You know, but it's I mean, hypocritical. It, no, he came on to them, and yeah. quite quite frankly, you know, as I used to like to say, um, if he uh, uh, if he was like uh, 
Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, what's that actor, uh, George Clooney? If he were George Clooney, they'd go, well, yes. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, come on. You, yeah, know. you know the one where uh, you say... And, and quite frankly, hey, frank, you, quite frankly you, I asked my wife tonight, I said, if Andrew Cuomo came on to you, what would you do? She said, I'd see how far he wanted to take it. <laughs> you know, because she thinks he's sexy. You know, yeah. the fact that these these women are coming forward now because it's like a big gangbang, pile on Cuomo. But the fact is that I, I don't want to see his ability to govern this state uh, slowed down at all because he was doing good work. I think it's kind of suffered lately because he's afraid of what pe- he, he, he because all this is hit now. And so, hey, I'll give you uh, he gives is my friend Shecky calls it a shiny quarter. In that, okay, uh, 35% in restaurants and things right. like that to make it all better. And, uh, you know, that's it, right. Wrong. That's what exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, but, and so is he following the science uh, or is he just trying to get out I of think hot water? I, I've been mad at him lately because I think he's endangering us. You think he's going to resign? It depends on how bad this thing gets, you and, know. Uh, and his career over, even if he doesn't resign. Uh, his career for the time being is over. I mean, he might be able to get reelected as governor. I'd vote for him again. OK, yeah. uh, but uh, his career in future politics is over. All that presidential I, talk I, is gone. Is, but that's for now. Yeah. Go f- have a short five, memory. Six years, seven years down the line. All this will be forgotten. We, it, it, you can move on. It'll be brought up if he's running for president, but he'll ward it off. He'll have some way to take care of it, you know. Pivot, yeah. You know, uh, pivot. Do you think his book is going to be out, out with uh, Dr. Seuss? I, 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 who knows? Uh, yeah. But, I mean, and, you know, I mean, the fact is that the guy did do a good job for us for the longest time, and he did. I feel he saved my life, Okay. And 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 saying that is very important that he you know. Why don't you give Dr. Fauci the uh, the credit because he was the one that said at, after a while wear a mask. Well, I I give Fauci a lot of uh, a lot of credit for a lot of stuff. I mean, I think he's only followed the science. I think at the time that he said we don't need to wear masks, we probably didn't need. We probably should have worn masks, but we didn't need to. But if we did. There'd be a run on masks, and then the doctors and nurses wouldn't have the mask because there wasn't enough of that of masks available. There was a run on masks. But the, uh, the uh, last point I want to make on this Cuomo thing is um, I keep thinking her name is Pocahontas. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's her name? Uh, yeah, her and, and Harris have, have both been silent on this uh on this on these accusations where they were very vocal on all the accusations that were fostered on uh fausted on uh, uh kavanaugh yeah and you know because it's just crickets and, well i think uh, kavanaugh was an asshole and i think kavanaugh probably did do something horrible but you know he managed to get approved because you had a bunch of republicans who were willing to turn their heads the other way i think thank you. I, I think he was a terrible terrible person quite frankly. Oh, uh, uh, there's one other thing going on with this COVID uh, bill. Uh, I guess they're not, I'm not going to get a raise because they're not going to approve the $15 an hour uh, deal with this COVID bill. And, you know, if, if, if the minimum wage went to 15 bucks an hour, my salary would get doubled. Yeah. Well, you know, the way, well, mine would be, mine would uh, be incredible. Um, yeah. Uh, but the, uh, you know, Does that I, our Social Security has to go up to 15 bucks an hour? No, what bothers me, what bothers me is that we're even arguing about this. I mean, to say that somebody works for you and you don't respect them enough to pay them at least 15 bucks an hour, you know, yeah. is disgusting. It really should be higher than that. I mean, somebody goes to work every day, they do whatever. And let's face it, let's be very honest, the jobs that are the most difficult, okay? And I've often said this. My job is simple. I just sat in a radio studio and I talked. Somebody ran the control board and I talked some more. And then I did some. And then I talked some more. 
And uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, some guy <laughs> is working on a, uh, a what do you call it, line? A, um, um, uh, uh, you know, an assembly line, uh, uh, putting in one bolt or something, or, you know, closing a box or taping a box, one box after another, you know, repetitive work. His, his job will be uh, pushed out by robots. Whose job? Hmm? Who's worth more? You know, when it comes to, Robot. When it comes to a job. Well, I, I toured a factory last year that uh, they had robotics in. And it was so advanced that they wouldn't let me take pictures. And the, the carpet squares uh, came, uh, the robot took them, put them in a box, mm-hmm. moved the box to another assembly, uh, to another line, which uh, put them out on pallets. Mm-hmm. It was amazing what I was seeing. But this is the kind of work that people shouldn't do because it's repetitive mm-hmm. and it's, uh, it's dangerous. It's soul-sucking. Yeah, it, it's yeah, soul exactly. sucking. So, why isn't that guy getting like you know twenty five bucks an hour? I mean, he's because working he his be, ass off because he's he was, not because he doesn't have the education to have a a desk job. You no, know, Andrew on. Yang uh, said that they're going to have to retrain people because robots will uh, eventually take all of those menial jobs mm. that are repetitive. But and that's going to put even, you know, those truck drivers, you've got a guy on your a couple of guys in your panel, Todd and uh, the guy with the dog, uh, you know, the, in, a, in the not too distant future, trucks will be uh, robotic or, uh, you know, self-driving. And, uh, you know, maybe for a while they're going to have people in them uh, just as a, as yeah. a fail. Well, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is that in jobs, the people who are getting paid the least are the people who work the hardest. Would you agree with that? Uh, you know, there, there, there's a difference between hard work and working harder. Phil, See, Phil, I'm saying working at a at a soulless job that sucks the soul out of you. Uh, the, those jobs are uh, the ones that get paid the least, and those are the people like who should job. get paid the most. I mean, it's not like my job. I'm sitting there on my ass t- talking, making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Meanwhile, this guy is uh, is on an assembly line, closing boxes or taping a block box shut, and then another box shut, and another box shut, and another box shut, and we go on and on. And he's getting five dollars, six dollars an hour. Are you kidding now, me? There, there's guys that just got about twelve thousand of them just got laid off uh, in. Uh, in the Midwest, I guess, uh, on the XL pipeline. Those were union jobs. Now, I'm not a supporter of unions, but those were union jobs. Mm-hmm. These guys were making $45, $50 an hour plus benefits, mm-hmm. and now they're unemployed, can't feed their family. Yeah. Uh, so if if you're going to eliminate jobs or you're going to train people, you know, I was watching an interview. The guy says, I'm 45 years old. What, what am I going to do? Uh, you know, solar? Okay, you're going to build solar panels. Where do they build solar panels? They build them in China. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, so what's he going to do? Move to China? Uh, or he's going to work for, uh, you know, eight cents an hour in a bowl of rice because that's the only way you can be competitive against China? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so you know, we're so worried about these entry level jobs. Uh, I can't get, I can't hire anybody. I have a position that's been open for six, seven, eight months, and uh, I've just spent two thousand dollars on uh, on a service to try to hire someone. I've got no hits. What, what's the job? I, sales job. A sales job. I, I pay a very high commission. Plus, I pay a guarantee of about two thousand dollars a month. So, if you show up, you you get sixteen fifty an hour, uh, it, which is one and a half times minimum wage. Mm-hmm. So, every every hour I pay is an hour of overtime. Yeah. And if you sold zero, you would you would make a little over two thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. If if you sell something. Uh, of course, if you sold zero for too long, you wouldn't be hired long, much longer. No, right? that, that's true. Yeah. It's just that yeah. I I pay uh, twenty four, twenty five thousand dollars a year, just as a base, and without you know the, there's very and, good and you medical Look, and listen, you know and I, other I am sure you are a uh, a decent employer to work for. 
You know, I just take anybody to work for me. Yeah, well, you're in a bad time for that. Except it, Tony it, wants to work for me. You know, yeah, I'll come out. <laughs> I'll fly out if you give me. Yeah, a- well, you got a future in floor covering sales. Trust I me. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Hey, listen, always good to talk to you, my friend, uh, although I disagree with a lot of what you oh, have to oh, say. Oh, uh, before you leave, uh, how was the shot? I'm going to tell the whole story next, but it, oh, okay. it, it went fine. It you went live fine. to talk about it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. In fact, it's a great story because it turned out to be more than I expected it would be. But he gave you two and a half shots? No, no, no. It's what, how, how we got the shots. Oh, okay. You know. Very good. Uh, now I got to listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. It's right well. next uh, over most of this gab net. Thank you, Phil. All right. Hey, Gabby. I'll call you uh, after the operation to let you know. I'm yeah, alive. Let me know um, you're okay. All right. If, and I'll be. Yeah. Thinking. If you don't hear from me by Sunday or Monday, uh, they put the toe tag on and yeah. wheeled me down to the well, basement. I, uh, I will be thinking of you and hoping Thank you. the best. Okay. All right. Take Ladies care. and gentlemen, Phil Meyer. Goodbye, Phil. Thank you so much for having joined us on our fine little program this evening. Okay, let me see here. It is time for us to uh, admit uh, the uh, citizen panel. We have like four people waiting right now, so that's better than nothing. All right. And uh, I will, um, let me see here. Let's go over here and see what the story is. There we go. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. There's our citizen panel. Hi, guys. Hello. How Hello. are you? Uh-huh. There's Alan, and there's Charlie, and there's uh, Brian, and there's Dan, and we hope more of you will call this evening. Also, if you don't haven't ever called before, please call. Go over to uh, gabnet.net. And there you will find on the right-hand side a uh, thing about how to go on the citizen panel. In the middle of it, it says, click here to Zoom us. All you have to do is click on that, and it will immediately start ringing us here at our Zoom address. All right? Very simple. Very simple process. Uh, but uh, anyway, so how y- how y'all doing? Good? We're hiring about 1,600 people if anybody's looking for a job. Oh, 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 oh really? Okay. Engineers to entry level. So I know you guys are talking a lot about job. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll be yeah. there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Robert, <laughs> hello. Ro- well, hello to Charlie. Hello to Brian. Hello to Dan. I'll have mm. you plug that again in a couple of minutes here, uh, Brian. And Robert Natali. Now, have you gotten your shot yet, Robert? <laughs> yes. In fact, I did last week. Last week. Okay, good. What kind did you get? Um, I went with the Pfizer flavor. You went with the Pfizer flavor. Okay, so you got three weeks till the next one, right? That's that's right, the 18th. Yeah, have they already set you up for it and all of that? Yeah. See, at my place, they didn't, and I had to do it myself, and so I waited five and a half weeks. But let me tell you mm-hmm. the story, okay? So, you know, we go over there, and it is, it. it we, we, I'm expecting that it's going to be a, a long wait, that there's going to be a line. And we got there. And sure enough, there was a long line. All right? So we get out of the car. And before we went, Marjorie said, you know, my leg is killing me today. I think I'm going to use a cane. I said, good move. You know? So we get out of the, uh, out of the, out of the, out of the uh, car, the car we hired. And we are greeted. There's a woman right there with the, the, all the stuff showing she's a person that works there. And she looks at me, and she looks at her, and I don't know if the cane was the selling point on this, but she said, you're older people, come with me. (laughs) What? There was a line that was like an hour long, all right? Oh, sure. Now you want privileges because you're old. You're old. I see how it is. You're older. Now, I don't know if what they did is that she saw the cane and went, she needs help, right? It's I mean, you, she's man. practically dancing out of the car. You know, the stick is just there, right? So we go down, and she walks us in, walks us over and says, okay, you go over to five and you go over to six. <coughs> huh? We go over to these desks. No wait at the desk. We sit down. Person gives me a couple of, of, uh, of, of pointers, you know, like this is only uh, being uh, used for compassionate use, 
You know, it has not yet been approved. And um, I said, what arm do you want it in? And I said, uh, well, I had it in this arm last time. They said, well, let's do this arm this time. Basically, because the guy was sitting there. And uh, I, uh, I, I said, okay. And he shot me in the arm and he said, thank you very much. Go over there and wait for 15 minutes. And I go over there, and Marjorie's already over there, and we're sitting there just waiting for 15 minutes. We leave, we go home. I got home because we left early. I got home about five minutes before my appointment was supposed <laughs> to start. That's uh, good. So it was a nice payoff for all that I've gone through with getting it late and all of that. Yeah, it's like know. a happy ending to this whole yeah. saga. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I, Marjorie felt pretty sick the next day, kind of felt puny, all right? Uh, and uh, I felt a little aches in my body, but not bad. And um, then the next day she was fine, and I was still kind of feeling, um, what's the word, fatigued. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it was okay. We were fine, you know, and we, <laughs> felt, we felt great because now we felt protected. You know, and how'd you it feel possible? the day before? What? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> how'd you feel the day before? Fatigue? The day. And what be about the day before that shot? Fatigue? Well, I always feel fatigue. What about the day before? <laughs> fatigue. <laughs> how did you know the difference? This yeah. this fatigue. You know difference? This fatigue yeah. was different. It was different. It was we just kind of like, uh, you know, that kind. Uh, different. It was a different kind of fatigue. And so wait, so it was like. Uh, was it what was it like for like uh, or well I gave uh, it I gave it to uh, okay okay uh, yes uh, Alan so so is it possible that they moved you up because somebody said who's that old geezer with that good looking woman let's get them in the front of the line <clears throat> sure no I don't think so no oh okay <laughs> they felt it's a possibility I, I don't though. know if the cane was the selling point. Okay. okay, but I had talked to my friend Shecky about this, and he said, good idea would be to bring a cane with you. Absolutely. Because he saw them taking people who came in wheelchairs <clears throat> and moving them right to the front of the line. Well, he recognized, yeah, well, he recognized that you Chief. were a, uh, yeah, it was, a celebrity. It was my celebrity, yeah. They, yeah. Didn't, they didn't want me to say bad things about them on the ramble. It might yeah. get out to all 36 people. Right. You know. Yeah, they were important people. Yes, Charlie. That wouldn't have worked in Texas. I saw lots of people with canes waiting in line with me, and none of them got moved to the front of the line. Really? No yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, so I, so I, 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 that's I, why I don't live in Texas any longer. <laughs> I, I, one of my part-time volunteer jobs is that I take care of a couple older guys. They're in their 80s, and I finally Watch talked it. them into going. Watch it. I finally talked him into going to get a shot. Yeah. And they're like, you can't come in with them. And they're like, well, we're not going to get the shot. And I'm like, why can't I come in with them? And I showed them my little CVC card. They said, that thing's worthless. You can buy them on eBay. And I'm like, <laughs> really? I said, now you're, you're, these guys are not willing to go in. I had to spend three months talking to them or two months talking them into it. And now they're not going to go in without me. Sorry. So I said, you're just going to turn us away. You know, it's yeah. it's a mess. It's, I, they, huh. they ended up, they, I talked to a supervisor, and yeah. they ended up accepting me to come in. Of course, I was wearing a mask, and yeah. uh, you know, Robert, then they got their shots. Robert, what was your experience? I Mine was at a pharmacy, and um, I walked in, checked in at a table, and they said, come with me. I waited on a line with about 10 people ahead of me might have taken 15 minutes for the line to move forward got my shot and they told me sit down for 15 minutes but nobody's really going to pay attention to you yeah <laughs> so about 10 minutes in i said fuck this and i got up and left wow Okay. So five easy, easy, minutes easy. early. Oh my god! And he got it no, at a pharmacy. Easy, easy. He got it at a pharmacy, and he before he left, he got to pick up some, you know, cough drops. You know, cough drops. You joke, <laughs> you joke, but that was the first store I've been in in a year. So while standing online, like I felt like a kid at uh, Fao Schwartz, you yeah, know, looking yeah. at all. Of them. <laughs> 
wow, they got chocolate here. They got <laughs> cold drops. Oh, my God. Do you want a big shopping spree? <laughs> well, I didn't buy a goddamn thing, but, oh. you know, it was just, um, to me, it was just like discovering America. It was, so like, this, a, it was just me, like a this, magical wonderland. To me, the scary yeah. thing, Robert, is that you left early. So the 15-minute thing is important. If you'd walked out of the store and went into anaphylactic shop, shock, you would have been unhappy. They, yep. they, they told me that if that was going to happen, it was going to happen in the first 30 seconds mm-hmm. to a minute. Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've yeah. seen, I've actually seen someone go into shock from a bee sting. Yeah, well, yep. that, that, and this person hit the ground like they got shot. Yep. How yep. cold? Yep. Well, not. Man, ma- I asked. Man. I think I asked them if many people have had problems, and they said we've had a few. You know, they, some people are just allergic to this stuff. That's right. They're allergic to some component of it. But this isn't your normal vaccine. This isn't like a shot of a piece of the bad stuff, you know. And um, it worked out pretty well. I mean, I I was amazed. Uh, I was amazed at, uh, well, I liked their efficiency. But I couldn't tell. I would have been, I'd probably be here today complaining if I had to wait in that line. Aren't you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I don't understand why there is a line. If you're making appointments... Every five minutes for a certain amount of people, and you could do about, I saw there were about 10 tables there. You could do about 10 people every five minutes, all right? doesn't take longer than that. Um, and you've made their appointment, and you've said your appointment is for this time. Why is there a line? You know, what, ha- what, what happened that made a line exist? And I can't figure that one out because it should. Am I right? It, it logically, it, it should not be a problem. But my right. appointment, as I've said, was at one o three. So, right. what what about the ten people ahead of me? Like I was only there three minutes, you know, mm-hmm. right. ahead of my scheduled appointment. Mm-hmm. So, why ten people, not three people? Right. But right. I'm not complaining. So what what drug ch- store chain was it? Rite Aid. Rite Aid. Oh, okay. And it was an hour drive for me. Because everybody says, you know, they say, well, what, what, what kind of shot did you get? Well, I got Pfizer. Well, I got Moderna. Well, I got Johnson & Johnson. Um, and by the way, they put a Band-Aid on my arm. And it, it was a Johnson & Johnson Was it band-aid. a Cure-Ad? No, it was, I think it was a Cure-Ad. <laughs> the Johnson & Johnsons are only used for the Johnson & Johnson. Right. Um, but um, I felt really good afterwards like i'm safe now you know i mean i'm sure you felt that way a little bit robert because you're, you're right now you're at about 50 yeah. percent protection and in a few On weeks my way out of the store i tongue kissed about five people good. <laughs> Just, yeah great yeah great. i'm ready to go to a rock concert now yeah so. yeah yeah <laughs> and mosh pit yeah yeah exactly. listen i'm <laughs> still i'm still i'm still double masking it when i go out you know and it mine won't be uh, won't be um, at its peak for about two weeks. In about two oh. weeks, I will be uh, pretty much uh, uh, taken care of. Who, who do you, you know, Robert? Oh, I'm, Robert the, with Pfizer. They're they're without you reading all the garbage. You 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 have no protection until day twelve. At day twelve, you you have. 14, uh, 14, 52 percent, according to the, if you go to Pfizer's website. And it keeps going up. And it keeps going up. Are you talking from the first shot or the second shot? Because I I just got my, okay, because I just got my second shot on Friday. Okay, did you you have any uh, any side effects at all? No, my my arm hurt a little bit. Yeah, my arm still to this day, well, that's not even even hurting. And how how about your arm, Robert? That's all. I, I kind of felt old the day of the shot because when the girl asked me which arm, I asked her, when this is over, will I be able to play the violin? And she didn't know the joke. And I thought, oh, oh my God, I'm really getting old, you know. <laughs> I don't know the joke. Oh, oh well, uh, let me ask him the question. Ask me the question. When I'm finished, will I be able to play the violin? And I the joke, rem- the, the I can't answer remember, is, I can't remember what the what the, what the, the well the answer is. is. Were you able to play the violin before? Oh, were well, you able to play the violin before? Right, right. 
No. Well, then you won't be able to play it. Of course not. Of course not. Okay, I see. I see. I think I've heard that somewhere. Before. I think Dan's a youngster, and it was yeah. The first well, time. I well, I you know I'm 51 years old, and I and I come in here to feel youthful. Whenever I feel old, when I come in <laughs> oh, here, in cabinet, fuck, I fuck feel you, man. so. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody, but I couldn't resist. By the way, if you want to get get off the um, COVID talk, I got sucked into that goddamn Woody Allen shit. <laughs> Oh no! Really? Yeah, okay, we, yeah. We'll come back in ten right. minutes. Well, yeah, you know, either which way, Alex wants to talk about. I'll it. go for a drink. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I nobody watch... cares about the Woody Allen thing. No, I don't care. I don't care. I, all I've got so to say what? is, I watched the latest one, and it is the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, yeah but it, I, I just gotta say, I mean. What, I got what? wrapped up into it because you told me about that 60 minutes interview and you know how YouTube will feed you similar videos. And, um, but you know, I was, I'm feeling the same way too, but then there's that video at the end. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. Right. Like the kid right. wasn't coached. So can I change the subject? Like, wait, like the know. kid, the, like, the kid like the kid was like the kid wasn't coached. I have, I I don't know. Do you know I'd any probably, kid who's four years old that refers to her nether like areas sick. as private parts? I think so. In the I, in that age, I, like I you're absolutely. Uh, anybody yeah. here ever know a little girl ever referred to that part of her body? As, I mean, I've never heard any girl. They talk may about call it, it something I, like their poo poo or their nay nay or girl, whatever. But and if I heard any girl talk about it, I'd probably lose my job. Did you have any daughters, <laughs> Robert? Yeah, I, did you have I any, beg your pardon. Do you have any daughters? No. I do not. No. Okay. I have Anybody here son. have any daughters? You have a daughter. Have a daughter. Has daughter. your daughter yet, Brian, ever referred to that part of her body as her private Take the part? Fifth. <laughs> no, my pee pee. Pee pee. Yeah. I mean, private parts? That sounds like it was a coach. I, it was a coach. I mean, I, I have no. I, I'm kind of up in the air. I'm. I'm not. I All I'm saying is this thing was way. settled. Like this thing was settled. Yeah. This thing was settled years ago, and and if they were an honest uh, documentary, they go out and get the rights to the 60 Minutes interview and intersperse they that played, in there. At the very beginning, they played a little piece. No, of they it. didn't. It was. I thought that's what it was. No, it wasn't. That wasn't the sixty minutes interview. Okay, I, I don't know. But the I, only, I, yeah. I only have one, qu and I'm kind of on Team Woody, but at the same time, I have the question: Are we saying that, um, either Dylan and or Mia Farrow have been keeping this elaborate lie going no, on for no, no, Mia Farrow, years Mia, Mia Farrow, coached like her, coached her. Kids of that age can be told that something happened that didn't happen. It's it, it happened in the you remember that school uh, in California the day school uh, I'm trying to remember the name it was the uh, the devil worshippers or something no 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 no, no it was a day school kids and the go. teachers were all accused of this and it turned out that all these kids had been coached all these kids had been made to believe that this had happened to them yeah but weren't weren't they accused of being Satanist the McMartin preschool the McMartin preschool. Uh -huh. Yeah, and they were they were accused of being yeah. Satanists. Too. Yeah, no, but and it was completely thrown out, just completely thrown out. And, but well, that's a perfect case of where uh, you can program a kid to believe that something right. happened that didn't happen. Right? I I would say that the fact that me and Pharaoh would videotape that in the first place is kind of bizarre. Well, she's yeah. wacko. She's crazy. I think she is wacko, and that's why I, you know, the only hesitancy I have is she seems too much like a dit to come up. With. It seems like we're accusing her of coming up with this whole elaborate plot. She, she's crazy. She no, she's not a dit. She's not a dit. She's okay. crazy. She's crazy. If she were a dit, she wouldn't. Either. She wouldn't be as dangerous, you know. But anyway, enough of that. Oh yeah. No, I guess shame uh, on HBO. I would cancel my HBO if it weren't for like the shows they have that I like. So anyway, that shows you what a. Oh, I have a funny something. What? So we'll as, you older, as you get older, as you get older, I've talked with some of my older friends. 
the ball sack tends to hang down. Oh, jeez, almighty. Oh, do we have and to so, we go back to Woody Allen, please? No, yeah. no, no. This is, <laughs> this, is my, this is my office chair. I got an office chair, and I adjusted the height. And now every time I sit down, you got to be careful because the nuts get in the way. And uh, you sit on them. And when you weigh close to 300 pounds, it's not fun. Okay, on to other topics Next now. Subject. You know, Robert, Robert, where was your list of stuff? Where is your I'm, list of I'm, I'm sure there's a rerun of my mother the car on somewhere. Hold on, I'll 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 find it. Now I know why Charlie left. Yeah, okay. I know. Yeah. What happened? Guys, wait till you where, sit where, on where did, where did Charlie? Well, I, 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 so I yeah. fuck he Alex left. for getting me wrapped up in the Woody Allen thing. So Who? What? Alex told me about the 60 minutes thing, and then I got wrapped up into it. So okay. I'm wrapped up in the Woody Allen thing, but nobody else cares. So whatever. I would think about that's the hobby. <laughs> mm. I mean, <laughs> it's like, because I usually don't like the celebrity stuff, but I'm like, you have a list, Robert? Up in it? all right, enough with the Woody Allen already. Okay. All righty. No more Michael Jackson. Huh? Let's talk about Michael Jackson. Yeah, let's talk oh, about Michael. Jesus. <laughs> At least that kid got paid like fifty million to shut up. Hmm. How about Bill Cosby? Let's talk about Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about your crook. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the governor there. Oh, geez, he's not a crook. Uh, <laughs> Who is he? A crook? He's a perv. He's not a perv. You know, that's what I hate. Hold on a second. That's what I hate about when when people say things about people that they don't have proof of. It's only their word against the other person. All right? Uh, nobody saw any of these things happen. Nobody was there. There was no proof of any of this. And all of a sudden, a man's career as governor may be completely washed up because Nobody is taking into account that, like, for instance, the woman, one of the women who complained is running for a political office here in New York City. All right? Mm -hmm. a, you know. It, it sounds a little like Al Franken to me. It sounds it's a actually, lot like Al Franken. Yeah. It, but Plus, it also, it also sounds, what about Kavanaugh? There was no proof, and they made a big deal about it. Uh, was, was there no proof? Yeah, the, the, the lady they, they has a long up. testimony by Ford. What's her name? So yeah, yeah mm -hmm. the, this professor Ford from Stanford mm -hmm. is a world-renowned um, professor of something, but she's one of the top ten people that okay. know how to. Okay, okay, but let me stop a second. All right, just stop a second. Okay. It, it the Kavanaugh thing, as I told Phil doesn't enter into this discussion. And the reason it doesn't become part of this discussion is that Mar uh, Andrew Cuomo at no time has been accused of rape, which Kavanaugh was, okay? Right. He's only accused of maybe, you know, he's a single guy, right? He needs to find dates, mm. all right, uh, of, of maybe saying things that, uh, you know, to, uh, to women at parties. One of them was at a party, all right? Uh, he didn't like to stick his finger in them or tongue kiss them or force himself on them or anything like that. Didn't These take are all, them into an or, attic. Or grab them by the pussy, I might add. <laughs> or grab them by the pussy. Uh, so don't try to comp compare it to the Kavanaugh situation. That was an accusation of rape, all yeah. right? Uh, this is an accusation with, with, of acting improperly. Yeah, or, well, or, with, without mm, proof. Or making, un, proof. Or, or making unwanted advances. Yeah, without proof, though. Mm. I think there was a lot of proof in the... In, in the it's uh, a matter of who you believe that was one person's word yeah. against another. Yeah, that's yeah, what That doesn't are. mean there was no really? proof. It means there's no, there's no one else that was witness to it, but that, that doesn't mean there wasn't proof. Proof, You've got to remember a also, of of if, if, if memory serves as well in the Kavanaugh situation, there was somebody else that wanted to come forward to corroborate it or to give a right. similar story, yeah. and she wasn't allowed to. She was right. blocked. Yeah, she was blocked. So there was a lot more going in the Kavanaugh case than there was here. In this case, the, the what, what they're saying he did was come on you know i mean he's just kind of being flirtatious with people here 
Right. Well, yeah. you know, what was the position? I mean, you always got to, you know, the he, power look, dynamic. Is he's got to be. He's got, he was the governor of New York. He had to be very, in a time of Me Too, and he had to be very careful about his actions. He wasn't. He was kind of stupid. But then again, the guy has a dick. It gets hard. It tends to lead him around like a divining rod, you know? So I mean, uh, uh, quick, not many people y- just yes, push right. that aside. Yes, Robert. Know? How quickly we forget that not long ago, Republicans were lined up behind the guy that was dating twelve-year-olds. How quickly we forget <laughs> that minute, the wait. Speaker of the House, Dennis Hastert, yeah. was propositioning boys in a toilet. You know how quickly we forget. And Cuomo says something inappropriate, and we're going to make that a, an either or? Come well, I mean, the question is, how inappropriate were any of these things? They certainly weren't overtly inappropriate. You know, Neither. he was just simply being flirtatious. Smack him in the face. Or tell throw, him. A, throw a glass of water at him. You, you know, it's, it's kind of like I said something to Marjorie tonight about to get back to Woody Allen for one second. Don't okay. bring it up. Don't talk Yay! about it, Dan. <laughs> but for one second, no, what I said to her was, it's been 29 years. Yeah. Get over it. Yeah, shovel dirt on this story. Yeah, yeah. get over it. What are you wasting our time with it now? Yes, uh, Jeff, you've got your... You cannot win with your wives. They they don't have a 29-year limit. Oh, you're right. You're right. They don't. I had a wife once that uh, uh, I did something, and she said, do you remember the times you did such and such? And, I, you know, guys don't remember things like that. And I went, no, I don't remember it. Well, you did. It's like they have this bank of things they hold on to oh, so yeah. they can then throw them at you 25 years later. Remember the oh, time no. you didn't take me out to dinner for my anniversary? Now, did you win that discussion? No. Never. No. What you have to do with guys, and guys are willing to do this, guys apologize. They just admit, admit. <laughs> okay, it. it was my fault. I'm sorry I did that. Now let's move on. Do they move on? No. They I hold on to it. Women c- never forget. Because two, l- two years later, it comes back up in a fight. Yep. Right? They just put it, they, they, every time you do something bad, they go, well, I'm not going to complain about it now, but I'm putting it on my list because I can turn <laughs> this in for swell gifts and prizes later on down the line. You know. No comment. So <laughs> no, no or, don't call the is he right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, yeah. did, would you do you think that the governor thing is a political thing against him? I look, I, 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 let me say this. I think there are two parts to this. I would say yes, some of it is political, okay? In the case of the uh, the woman who's running for, I can't remember what she's running for. Anybody know or remember? I, uh, it's like something like uh, chief advocate or something. I don't know, not that, even that, something else. Uh, but she's running for something in the New York City race coming up. Uh, so that's motivation right there, okay? okay. Um, who knows why the rest of them piled on? I guess they were sitting around on their haunches waiting to get even with them or trying to get their day in the sun. Um, but, but he is not reportedly the nicest guy in the world. Okay, you don't want to take on Andrew Cuomo in a fight because he. And what just... New Yorker is? Well, he's uh, he's from Queens. Except, except you, Alex. Hmm? Except you, Alex. Yeah, You're well, the nicest New Yorker uh, I know. Yeah, well, he he's from Queens, and he's got a little attitude, you know. Right? You, you know York, what I'm talking about, Jeffrey? Hey, you know, you. you know what I'm talking about, Robert? I mean, yeah, he, come on, the born in Queens. People. What? That's just... Right. I mean, so, I, I mean, I understand, but is it's is he using his power in a in a wrong way? No, no. these girls. No, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. This I, but what he I did. What, 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 hey, hey, true. Dan. What he did was no different than any guy does who's single and is at a party, and or in at work or whatever, and uh, wants to get to know somebody better. 
All right. Like Kavanaugh. Yeah. Like, no, not like no, Kavanaugh. Not like Kavanaugh, was Kavanaugh took a woman, didn't... got her drunk, and supposedly yeah. raped her. All right? Yeah. There's a big difference. Let me but take a no wild proof. guess here. Yeah. Kavanaugh is no a proof. big Second what Amendment want, supporter. Right, is that what this yeah. comes down to? Oh, yeah. Kavanaugh's a big Second and Amendment And by the way, yeah. you know, now that we're on the subject of the Second Amendment, Mr. Yeah. Allen, oh, yeah. you once broached about a week or so ago, I wasn't on the show, and you started pontificating about House Bill 127. And you started listing all the things that 127 would do. And so I found myself a little bit, like the whole thing, a little dubious. So your mm. reporter went and read Some. House Bill 127 from cover to cover. Okay. And it does you. none of the shit that you tried to peddle here. None. What 127 does is it makes all guns and ammunition registerable mm -hmm. and it disallows the transfer or sale of ammunition or guns from one party to another unless they are duly licensed and that the database across America is notified. However, if you type in HR 127 in Google, what you come up with is about 25 straight hits about how horrible 127 mm. is until you look at the sources, the NRA, mm -hmm. law enforcement, gun lovers lobby, gun yeah. lovers <laughs> club, uh, target practice people. Look at 25 in a row all talking <laughs> against that bill and they're all biased on one side of the issue. But read the goddamn bill. It does I've read it. none of the things that you mentioned, not one. I read it. I read it before I commented on it. You and I are reading something different, obviously. Oh, yeah, must be. And what's your source? I actually read the House bill itself. Uh, I'm, and, I'm not that well educated. Nothing about the things that you talked about. It doesn't restrict ammunition. And it, I'll tell you another thing I found funny that same night. You bitched about Democrats, and yet, by the end of the night, you said you were in favor of registration. You said you were in favor of limiting the size and scope of weapons. You said that you were in favor of a cooling-off period between the time you registered the weapon and could actually take ownership of that weapon. Congratulations, you just became a Democrat. That's all we've been saying for a hundred years. You know, so like all of a sudden you're acting as if Democrats are this evil force. And then you went and you espoused the democratic position mm. on the, all those things. That's the story. So like, I don't the get your head story. about right. the, the NRA just over and over again. All they say is Democrats won't take your guns. Democrats won't take your guns. And, yeah, the NRA and how just many wants times in American history, by the way, have people come to take your guns? Has that Never. ever happened in your lifetime? Not in this Not country. Once. Not once. Not country. once. But Never. the NRA, gun lovers, all these lobbies constantly put the fear in people like you and others. Oh, they're gonna come take your but let me ask oh, you. Let me ask you a question oh, here. Oh, wait a minute. Bullshit. Brian, just really quick. And the next thing that they're threatening are the cars. You know, first it was guns, and now they say, well, the Democrats are going to take your cars away. So everybody who has a Hamburgers. gasoline car, they're going to take it away because they, they want clean everywhere by 35. But they're not going to take our cars. Yeah. No. Only the, the old threat, really. Only the old Cadillacs <laughs> are going. But that's the new threat. The guns is the threat. Now they're I using haven't, cars. No, I haven't no heard all, the they, all they've said, all they've said is about 1935 or 2035, which I won't be here for. Um, um, maybe most of us won't be. Who knows? Um, uh, they, they, you know, they they want to simply go to non-fossil fuel-driven cars. Uh, that doesn't mean we're going to do away with all the old cars that are already on the road, and eventually they'll rot and fall away. And maybe <laughs> by 2075, uh, all you'll have basically on the roads are non-polluting cars. But, but I had a lot of people, Republican friends, that were saying, oh, they're going to take your cars away, too. 
Somebody told them that on Newsmax or yeah, OAN. There's no, or yeah, but there's no intention of doing. Like there's no intention of doing that. It's simply a phasing right. out of the cars that we have. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, what's the big deal? You'll still have a car. Yeah. I, I'm glad you're keeping me in check, Robert. That makes me feel well. Well, it just it just it bothers me because you have a tendency to to characterize people and to stereotype. Democrats all want to take your guns away. I don't know I, one except Beto O'Rourke, who said it after the shootings in El Paso and can probably mm -hmm. be excused because he was very emotional at the time. He did say it. And but other than that, I've anyways. never once seen a bill go through either House of Congress that threatened to take you, Alan, you, Phil's gun away. Not once. Yeah. And yet, I've been hearing this since I was a kid. By the way, yeah. I'm I'm a Demo I, I was a Democrat. I'm now an independent, as you are, uh, Alan. Uh, but uh, and I'm one of those people that would like to just take all guns away from all people. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I think they're dangerous. They kill people, and people. Do. It's like if a kid uses a toy and he uses it wrong. We take the toy away, don't we, as a penal a penalization of them for using the toy wrong. Uh, I think that we need to do that with Americans. I think we've been using guns all wrong. And if we don't have proof of that, check the, the murder statistics in this country. You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the availability of weapons to people in this country is just... It's disgusting. There are more guns in this country than there are people. So, Alex, Alex, let, let, let's look at the murder rate and who does them. Do law-abiding citizens that own guns legally, uh, are they the majority of people doing the murders, or is it drug dealers and gang members? Well, have illegal... Wait a minute. Every yeah. murder's got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, there there are some people. I, I think I think you may be. I think I think you may be wrong in your statistic. I think that the major people that die from from uh, from guns are from gun accidents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, accidents. Yeah. Yeah. How do you figure that? How do I figure that? Uh, there are people who get killed all the time right. because right. I'm not right. kids playing with guns. So let, yeah. let's right. go back to let's go back to 2016, where Chicago had a higher murder rate than Los Angeles and New York put together. I think okay. it's well, let me, their guns well, okay. from okay. Indiana. Okay, wait a minute, Robert. Yep. I'll grant you that, Alan. But now, what is you having a gun? How does you having a gun solve that in any way? It doesn't. Okay, thank you. I rest my case. <laughs> but it solves, Irana, I rest my case. But if somebody, but your, your, your case is, if I want to own a gun, which I can in this country, and I want it for my personal protection, I can, to protect, not property, I don't care, if somebody wants to steal my car, let them take my car, or a, my TV or something. But if somebody comes into my house and is threatening my life or one of my loved ones, mm -hmm. I want to be able to defend myself all right. At any point, at any point, Who's have you ever you heard me say that I want to take away your gun? I wasn't the you. point of wasn't the point of what I was saying all this time that this business about taking away your gun is a straw man that you all have created and made everyone on the other side of the argument the boogeyman. You know, that's the easiest tactic in the book. And who's doing this to you? It's the NRA. It's in their vested interest that guns get sold. It's mm -hmm. all kinds of gun enthusiasts and gun companies. It's in their interest that you feel that way. You know, stop and think about who it is that's influencing you and what it is do they stand to gain by you feeling that way. You're being manipulated. I never said I would take away your guns, and neither did any Democrat I've ever heard, except oh, well. Alex. I, I, <laughs> well, we have, Democrat. we have, we also have here in California and through most states, we have registration and licensing that that protects some people, you know, from being stupid. I mean, I, I don't see how you, Alex, think that most of the murders in this country are <laughs> an accidental discharge. 
I'm not saying they're all accidental. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're 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 unint more unintended than anything. Also, really, uh, uh, yeah, and also people getting killed with their own guns uh, when there wasn't yeah. a gun in a situation, but they were suddenly going to use it to protect themselves, and they didn't had didn't have the ability to pull that trigger, so it got wrested away from them, and they got shot. So it's, it's oh, a, very, very small. If you percentage. own a gun, you're more likely to accidentally hurt yourself than any stranger coming in. Well, I mean, right. the so, reason and who's the, trying the, to kill you that you that you need to have a gun that you're so. What I mean, are you so worried about? Uh, to now? begin with, to begin <laughs> with, if you want to have a gun to protect yourself, then I don't want you to have a gun because you're ultra paranoid. Yeah, and I don't like paranoid people to have guns yeah. in their hands. Yep. I don't worry, call I'm paranoia. The Second I, I, I Amendment would, affords me the right in this country. It, does, it may or it may not. There's still an it, argument about that. You know, the Supreme Court did rule years ago that that wasn't what the Second Amendment said. But then somehow really? they went back and got the, mm -hmm. another Supreme Court to rule the other way. No, in 1933, I think. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong, uh, uh, Robert? Lobby. It was all lobbying. Yeah, the they they had a they they had a case in the industry. Supreme Court. And they deem that it was a collective right, not an individual right. Because it says, in order to maintain a well-ordered militia, the right to bear arms will not be infringed. Meaning that as a group you can have guns, but as an individual you can't. And they ruled that in, I think, 1933. And then as the years went on, other people went to court and they reversed it the other way. I don't know. I didn't follow that. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean... Huh? These gun freaks that are in Congress now, like that Bobert and uh, oh, okay. Marjorie Green, they they don't only want to, you know, the right to protect you to own a gun. They want the right to threaten you with a gun. You know, they think no, it's perfectly sure. fine to show up in Congress with, you know, with a bunch of militia guys carrying fucking machine guns. Oh, that's John, cool. Wow. That's the right. right. They helped and out what, with the insurrection anyway, so, so, so John is about, right. And what about the First the Amendment? Point? What about Who, the First Amendment? What's the First Amendment? What, what do you mean? It's lobbying. Wait, 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 hold on. One at a time. Ro speech. Robert? Robert? Who is it that's lobbying Congress in favor or against the Second Amendment? Well, it's the NRA. It's the people who produce guns. Millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. Who is it that's trying to restrict guns? Parents of children who've been killed. What do you think the government is going to lean toward when their pockets are being lined by these multi-million dollar industries whose benefit comes from the sale of weapons? Nobody's looking to take your fucking gun away. Yeah. You know, you I, gotta I, get I, I would like, that. I haven't I haven't said what that they're looking to take my gun away. I have said that they're there in in HR 127. There's ammunition changes. There's uh, capacity there's changes. Registration of it. There's the inability to transfer it so that you with a license can't go into a gun show, buy ammunition, and then hand it to a 14 year old legally. I'm totally it for that, to Robert. I've never said legally. the contrary. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What, you and, and your source, I'm sure, are the same mm -hmm. fucking magazines that Phil reads that are put mm -hmm. out by mm -hmm. law enforcement. And again, it's in their vested interest to keep you believing that these horrible people want to take away the extension of your dick. I'm sorry, but it just came out of my mouth. That's what I've always felt. What, his I'm dick came out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> something like that yeah it's yeah. horrible <laughs> i've always felt that it was just like sexual you know sexual deficiencies look at me i've got well I've got look, yeah. look i i think oh, the, the open carries absolutely what we're talking about here is that we have a country that's been you know i mean how do you feel for instance alan about the fact that proud boys have the right to bear arms under the second amendment i have no problem Okay, let's do away with the Second I don't, Amendment. I have then. a problem. I have a problem with Proud Boys on their on uh, their own, but if they're if they can legally have a gun, they can have a gun. Sure. I don't. I don't like Proud Boys. I. I yeah, no, I, 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 I be prosecuted I, for I don't know right. what. But still, they have the right to bear arms. 
Absolutely. We all do. Unless, Bear unless arms where? Felon. Bear uh, arms where? That's the question. Yeah. You're going to go to a park where there's a protest going on carrying guns? No. I don't think so. You're going to get on a bus in the middle of a fucking city with guns? No. I don't no. think I don't think you got a right to that. Sure, you got you got the right to go shoot guns at a uh, you know out in out in the mountains right. uh, shooting hunting hunting. Fine, that's fine. But carrying it into like you know uh, a grocery store, you know, bullshit. That's not right. Let I me uh, yeah. Uh, no let me, automatic that's weapons. Threatening. That's threatening. Yeah. Continue. This will no, go. I, this this argument will go around and around in circles. Yeah, it's never going to okay get solved, because I'm never going to be able to convince Alan that I'm right, and he's never going to be able to convince me he's right. Uh, and uh, but for the sake of us all, I just hope we have more responsible use of guns in this country and less people carrying. I'm absolutely them. for that. Yeah. that and I'm, I'm Robert happen. mentioned automatic weapons. I don't think citizens should have them. But that won't happen, and you know it as well as I Listen, do. Listen, uh, how fast can I buy a gun? It, it, right it, now, how you fast can I? can't get an I... automatic weapon, I'll bet you, in New Jersey. You can't get one in California. You can't get one in New York. You can't get them in Illinois. The states have imposed you, upper can you, can, penalties. Can you get them in Georgia? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I don't want them in Georgia. I'd rather they I sell them in, in New York. I, you know, Georgia has their own problem. Anyway, uh, listen, I want to get to something else quickly for a second, and it, this has to do with Charlie. Uh, okay. Your state of okay, Texas, Charlie. your governor, needs to be ripped out of that wheelchair and thrown out of office. Oh, again. You know? Yeah. No mask. Yeah. Today he said, no mask, and everything's open. What an asshole. Woo! What do you think Everyone is going to be, gonna be the result of that, Charlie? Lots of Texans are going to die. Yep. Yep. Charlie's going to be stuck in his house more yeah. now. Right. Yeah. Well, luckily, yeah. luckily, he's had the second. I'm sec not going anywhere. You've had the second shot, right? Have you had your second shot yes. yet? Yeah. So he can go anywhere he wants. But, mm. you know, I mean, uh, he, if we're going to end this thing, it's idiots like this guy in Texas who has who just completely made it ridiculous. Exactly. I mean, yeah. uh, the only person it's good for is Brian. You know, yeah. <laughs> a lot more tests. Yeah, more tests. <laughs> more, you sell we, more tests. What? Yeah, we just opened up, and we're we just bought another building across the new building that just opening up right now for another sixteen hundred people or something. It's so crazy. In other words, business is really booming. For you, our, yeah, it's this, our it's this company, in case you don't know what company. he's talking about, it's this little <laughs> item, folks, right there. Uh, our, our, our parent company just came by the new, the new CEO, top, top, top guy, mm -hmm. and he just said, You know, what else can you guys do? Here's all the money you guys need to open everything else up. So we said what October, October, and he said July. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, wow. it's crazy right now. Wow. So yeah. yeah, and it's not it's not going to get it's not going to get any better as long as we uh, don't start doing something right. about it, you know. And and what's going on in Texas, Charlie? I just feel for you. You know, it's insanity, just insanity. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing people in Texas only stay in Texas, right? Wrong. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're going to spread it around the country. It's going to take a lot yeah. longer to get. Herd immunity. Yeah. And we're kind of at a point right now that everybody's saying that if we wait another couple months of lockdown, we probably will be able to open a lot of stuff up in two months. But this is not the well, time. Well, I don't know, uh, Robert, if you heard my segment with Phil, but he brought up the fact, he says, well, Florida isn't as in bad shape as other states. Yeah. And I'm going, I'm sorry, where did you hear that? You know. They have yeah. how many people right now? Something like 25,000 people dead in Florida with a population yeah, that's far short. less than New York or, or, or uh, California. You know, uh, I think it was the woman who was the, uh, uh, the uh, governor of North Dakota, or is it South Dakota? The one that is the big Republican. Yeah, Kirsty Nome. Yeah, yeah. Nome. Uh, South Dakota. Yeah. She she got up and said, uh, you know, we've had less cases in in uh, where is she? North Dakota or South Dakota? South. Huh? South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. I can't. They should just make them one Dakota. You yeah. Know? 
Um, <laughs> and take away two senators, by the way. Uh, it, it, she said. She said uh, uh, we've had less cases in 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 which is South bullshit. Dakota, which is bullshit. Because per capita, they are like number four in the country or five in the yeah. country. Yeah. And yet she's trying to say, oh, you know, Dr. Fauci's yeah, a liar. Yeah. We haven't had any problems here. We have less of a... Yes, you do. Hmm. It's just you haven't got that many people. So right now, the if you look at the CDC site and at uh, a couple of the other sites, Texas is the big state right now that has the most people getting COVID and dying. Their positivity rates high yeah. and everything. And so it surprises me that their governor did what he did. So today. are they They're, higher in deaths now than California it's not, is? It's not the only state that's that, that's done that recently. Mississippi, Ohio, uh, the Dakotas, uh, I think North Dakota and Montana have also said you can do away with masks. How, how about how about California? Uh, are oh the, no, it's, Ohio never had a. What no, no, we Ohio has a mask. mask no, but what? Our what's governor's what, not that minute, stupid. What's happened with deaths there, in California? Are they going down now? Yes. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. Going they're going down. down. Yes. Okay. Dramatically. Yeah, totally. Dramatically. And are they you know, going up in Ohio? I don't, I don't pay attention to Ohio. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what Ohio's numbers are like right now i can find out if you give me a minute yeah you live where in ohio i live in ohio yeah. go to the cdc's website it'll tell you real easily i was just going to go to my weather map it's got <laughs> california is going to open up restaurants tomorrow but all i mean for a hundred percent capacity 50 uh, percent I think it's five percent in our county because we're doing we're Inside, doing we're doing thirty five percent here, and the only reason we're doing it is because our governor has been accused of improprieties with yeah. women, and if one more woman comes forward, it'll go up to fifty percent. You know, I mean, he, he, <laughs> that's why I don't want pressure on our governor. You know, let him do the job he's got to do, following the science, and not do it because he's now being pressured by political considerations. And believe me, he's a political animal. He will bow to political considerations. Uh, but uh, I was almost up to a million cases already. Yeah. In the, this past week. Uh, I don't have that. I just have the totals here. Teasing. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I don't have all the information. But. but here in New York, things are, you know, we're losing about 80 a day, you know, and uh, the percentage went up to 5.28% of the people tested, where yesterday it was down around three something, you know, it's very low. Uh, so I, but that could just be because maybe we did more testing or where they tested or whatever. How is it in New Jersey right now? Uh, Robert, not good. The numbers right? are going down, but they're still frightening. In my hometown, we're still getting about 50 people a week, and that's in a town of 25,000. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're supposed to be well past the crest of this, and still 50 people a week, you know, within a month, you're starting, I mean, you're starting to get up to 1% every so many weeks. It's, it's still frightening. Well, you know, and thing this is, town, yeah. This the Princeton and the surrounding area are, are um, the the probably the average age is in the mid to high fifties. I would say it's old, older population, except for yeah. the campus itself. Wow, yeah, and it has been most of the time yeah. the older population everywhere in the country. So, have you had you've had to ramp up production a lot, uh, Brian, with your company? Yes, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just on qualification on our new lines in Newark, and then, like I said, we just got the next building across the street, and up lines like crazy. So we and then we have China and India project going on right now, and then Lodi, we're expanding in Lodi too. So, yeah, it's just crazy. Gee, crazy Bombay right. and Lodi, huh? Or Mumbai? Yeah, yeah. and Lodi. You could write a song. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing we're doing right now, which is pretty smart, I mean, our I guys are very very smart people, but. Uh, they have a new version coming out also that's going <clears> to <throat> help with the variants a little bit. There's not much we have to tweak, but they're going to they're gonna have another another version of it, so it'll help with some of these variants we're seeing. So. Well, you, you put a – this has an opening, 
and what you put the the swab in there <clears throat> yeah exactly okay. put but the swab that, in there and break it off close that cap and then you put it into our machine and we we designed the machine okay we, but this thing isn't filled with anything right At, oh, no there's lick not that one right but there's but li there's liquid liquid reagents in some of those chambers and dried frozen like little bead reagents yeah so if everybody it, wants pretty, to find out go use that code right now and you can uh, yeah, that's old, old. Uh, yeah, but I then, mean, uh, 12 million, over 12 million cartridges. So, so in other words, the reagent is already in here, and then you take this and you put this into a machine, and how fast can you get the results back? That one's 90 minutes. Really? That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. But we have a lot of 15-minute tests now. Are they? Yeah, actually, actually uh, the, the, yeah, actually, sorry, I take that back. It's 45 minutes, 45 minutes for this one. Yeah. Okay. And now we have the fluvid, which is combining four different respiratory assays. And then we have the new the new version that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Yeah. Wow. And then they have the one with uh, with uh, with strawberry, I think. It's a yeah, strawberry flavor. Yeah. <laughs> we do we do MTB for Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Africa. We do all the high burden, uh, you know, countries. So, uh, yeah, so we do a lot of stuff for a good. Real well, you are in a growing, important business, you know? Uh, yeah, and we had, we had all these things set up for the next years for for a lot of oncology stuff, and now that sort of got wiped off the table with COVID. So. It's yeah. troubling, though, that your company says, yay, a new strain, whoopee! You know, it's, it's <laughs> somehow <laughs> it's <creepy. laughs> We spent 20 I mean. years to be a billion-dollar revenueing company, and now we doubled that in one year, and we have huge projections for the next couple. <laughs> yes, yeah, so crazy. On the now. other hand, I would imagine that your company would love it if there was no business out there. You know, if if the world was safe from this. <laughs> we just want to be able to detect stuff quick, because there's always going to be something out there. You know? Yeah. So we just want to help. What about this way. stuff though, where they do it and like Marjorie goes to get the thing, and then she got to take a mm -hmm. test, and within 15 minutes they've got the result. But the, yeah, is it but accurate? Like Forty to fifty-five percent accuracy and sensitivity. Where our stuff is like ninety-eight percent accuracy okay. and sensitivity. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. They, like what? Like when Trump and those guys had their first test and they went positive. Yeah. They go and take a PCR test, which is our version also, and that that's the next one that's really accurate. Hey, Je go, hey Je Jeff. Let me ask you: When you got your sure. you got your second shot, did you have any yes. effect? Any effects from it? None. The yeah. only problem is that they put a Band-Aid on, and I had got some hair there. And when they pulled the Band-Aid off, it hurt. Okay, well, your arm was, sen well, your arm was sensitive to begin with. I didn't cry, but it did hurt. Good. I don't know, mine was on there about two. a boy. I forgot that I had one there, and Marjorie finally said, you know, you've got a, you've got a Band-Aid still there. Yeah. And so I took it off. But uh, I had symptoms from my first shot, actually. Yeah. What about the COVID shot? I got <clears throat> I, I got pretty nasty headache that, that day, and mm -hmm. I also got a case of the chills. That could happen. Time. That can happen. Right. Yeah. 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 That can you happen. You know what I'd like to know before you go? What? I wonder if in time we're going to find out if there's a correlation between side effects and how serious you would have gotten the disease. I'm just curious if there's going to be something they learn oh, about that in time. I, I doubt it. It doesn't seem like some of them. That's oh, I think I think it's very logical, Robert. Something you know. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's a I think that's a smart thing. Yeah. Uh, well, it's nice to know you you're going back for your second shot. Uh, uh, Jeff's had his second shot. Uh, you're not ready to get one, are you, John Larkin? I'm um, only 63, but when yeah. I went over there, it seemed like they were encouraging me to go try anyway. Yeah. Like like you yeah. know, yeah, just go ahead, go see it. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to get that. Line. Charlie's had his second shot, and he's uh, he's ready to go. Uh, so uh, you know, the rest bring of you bring a cane, Larkin. Bring a cane. The rest of you will keel yeah. over, but we're going to survive I, the end. Everybody's got a cane in San Francisco. I just don't hey. want to get in line and then have them say, "No, you don't qualify." Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, anyway, everybody, it's time to go. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. Thank you, um, Alan. Thank you, uh, Brian. Thank you. Uh, 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 
Dan. Thank you, Robert. Omar. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank oh, you, uh, Mr. Larkin. And name. thank you to Charlie. Everybody <laughs> give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go. That's our citizen panel as they disappear, okay? That's it for us for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection, his first show of the week. And uh, we'll be back again uh, tomorrow night that we're doing a sports show. I think it goes on at 9 o'clock. How come I don't know what time it goes on? Anyway, it goes on tomorrow night, and then we come on at about 10.30, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. Wear a mask. Okay? All right. Be considerate of other people. Or, if you can, get a shot. Bye, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>